Good morning, my beautiful people. It is super duper early, but I am here to try to do a makeup look before I leave just to give you guys a little bit of content. I am actually supposed to be out of the house within an hour. I wanted to try this beautiful yellow look that I seen on another um, brown skin lady. The makeup artist was doing it. I'm going to see if I can find the name and tag it or whatever, but I wanted to try it. But then I don't know if I'm going to have time. So this video, we're not going to be doing a lot of talking. I'm sorry if you guys are here for my little chit chats. Today is not going to be that day. We're going to go ahead and get into a tutorial, which I know some of y'all want to see. Just the tutorial, just the makeup. So I'm about to give y'all that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting out with my brows. You guys know I love to put powder down first just because I feel like my brows get kind of oily just like the rest of my face so I like to set those first prior to me applying my pencil I'm going to be using the NK pencil and again I'm probably going to be zipping through this because your girl does not have a lot of time but we're going to try to make this work so I'm using the NK pencil in the brown black so that's what I'm going in with right now Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Chai, and I'm going to clean up my brows with this. And so now that I have the bottom cleaned up, I still clean up the top. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But for me, I like a very crisp brow. And I clean up the top with the shade Chocolate. I'm sorry, not Chocolate. Cafe from um, NARS. And I like a cream concealer. The reason why I didn't do the cream concealer at the bottom is because um, I find it hard to kind of blend out. And the, the Too Faced is a liquid. So it just kind of helps with the foundation or the base for my eyeshadow if that makes sense if it don't i'm sorry okay i'm doing the best that i can I'm trying to explain things i like to connect my lines right here in the middle just so i don't have like one brow that's higher than the other um or one that's a little bit too thick like as y'all can see this brow over here is a lip a little bit thinner than this one so we're gonna go in and just kind of keep playing back and forth and you know fixing them up after I have them where I want them I'm going to go in with the shade chai again and apply that again as my base right here to the lid for my eyeshadow now I'm going to start with the top blending that out because that shade is a little bit darker than the chai and I don't want to mix them like I don't want that very bright top brow if that makes sense like I just want to just blend that in so that way when you put your foundation on it's easier to blend you know you don't want the what they call it a hot brow I guess where the if you just got like this patch of light or whatever. Unless that's just how you like your brows. If you like your brows that way, you like your brows like that. Then I'm going to go and start blending out the bottom. And making this my base. So I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. As y'all see, I've hit pan on that because, yeah, it's like one of my faves. But this is going to serve as my transition color. If you guys don't want a transition color, you guys can just skip this step. But for me, I like a more of, again, a gradient soft kind of going light into dark, dark into light colors. So I use a gradient and I just blend this out. And you can be as sloppy as you need to be with this because, girl, it's just, it's just a transition color. 
All right. All right, now I'm gonna take like a smaller brush. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade over here. You could honestly do this one depending on your skin tone, but for me, I'm gonna go into that one because, um, yeah, I'm a little darker. So I need a color that's going to pop. And again, I just really focus this color right here on the crease. A lot of times, a lot of my looks are probably one to two colors um, on the lid. And then that crease is a completely different color. Meaning, like this portion right here, these are like the only two colors I'll use. And you can switch up those colors however you want. You can use like um, greens or, I don't know, browns or reds, whatever you want. But for me, my two colors are normally like a soft brown. And then I go in with a deeper brown. And again, you just apply that right into the crease. The smaller the brush, the easier it is to apply into your crease and you can honestly bring that up in here if you want to just depending on the look I think I am going to bring it kind of closer to my nose you know just to kind of make that a little bit deeper and then when you cut it it'll look so good for me anytime I want to do a cut crease I use the elf concealer camo concealer in the shade fair warm this works for me it may not work for everybody I'm a little off I'm a little different so, um, this is just what works for me. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and I take a fluffy brush. For me, I like to use a fluffy brush because I am not big on precision. If you like to be super precise, then definitely use you a more precise brush. But for me, I don't, I don't really care. I kind of like it when it's like a little bit messy and I feel like this just kind of does the job. I don't take my creases all the way out to the edge. I don't know. Just something about that. I don't like you know, it just does not work for me. I've seen it on people and it looks amazing. But for me, yeah, no. So, um, and then I also like to blend out my edges. Like, I just feel like it just blends better in my opinion. So, but I'm no makeup artist, you know. I'm just a girl that likes to do makeup and does what I can when I can. All right. Juvia's has this palette. This is the Topes. And I honestly was not a fan of this palette in the beginning because who does great? But I like it. I think it's outside of the box. I think this came out maybe a year or two ago. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go in and um, just apply just some shimmer. Because, again, I don't have a whole bunch of time on my hands to be really messing with my makeup like that. So I'm just going to apply this shimmer right there to the lid. I probably should have put down a base prior to me applying the shimmer. Like maybe a, a matte color. Maybe that gray that was in there. But... Girl, it'll be fine. I don't have time. All right. We don't have time today. Just going to do what we can while we can. All right. So you're just going to apply that. And I'm just doing like a build up of this. Meaning I just keep going over it until I get it as pigmented as I would like before I move on. And these are just taps. Not, you know, rubbing it back and forth. Nothing like that. Just simply tapping that shimmer onto the concealer so i like to blend out my edges i'm probably going to honestly use some of this gray that's in this palette this gray right here to kind of just go in because i don't like to have like a harsh edge so i'm just going to use a little bit of that gray in there just to kind of soften that black before you hit the shimmer again i am like a gradient type of girl i'm running so late right now so we're going to use a little bit of the elf um not elf i'm sorry milk primer i think the power grip primer is like the dupe for milk but i mean hey what do i know so if you don't want to go out and spend anything like super expensive, definitely try the e.l.f. primer. I normally get the uh, green one. Looks just like this, just in a different tube. And it works pretty good for me. I haven't had any problems. So just going to apply that. And then we're going to move on to foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is the, I'm going to say, which one am I going to use today? Maybe I'll use Maybelline. Maybe, I don't know, because I used Maybelline last time. Well, no, because I don't know where I'm going. So let's use the NARS, um, what is that? The Igesu, Ugasu? Girl, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it'll be in the comments. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of 
chocolate that igeisu or gasu is a little bit dark for me but i feel like i can make it work i have made it work before and we're gonna make it work again you know um besides like i really didn't want my face to be like super i don't know i don't even know what i'm trying to say it's it's too dark but we're gonna make it do what it do because that's what we do but this is nars in the shade um chocolate and i'm just going in and applying this wherever i want to be highlighted which is normally like right under my eyes oh lord i'm just dropping stuff everywhere jesus um and then i'm gonna go in with nars another nars this one's gonna be a little bit bright but i kind of want a brighter under eye today and this one's in the shade circa de orange girl y'all know i don't know how to pronounce nothing okay if you guys are new here yeah, I already don't know how to pronounce shit. She be trying, but she she don't know, okay? So I'm just going to apply that right there. Give me a little bit of a brighter under eye. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Laura Mercier. Y'all know this is like my favorite setting powder ever. Loves it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set um, that concealer into place. Get all of that together. Anywhere that I apply concealer, I want to go ahead and set. I set first uh, prior to contouring simply because I don't like when... My concealer creases, hell, a bitch already got bags on her eyes, and we don't need to accentuate those, okay? I have absolutely fallen back in love with the Juvia's Place uh, bronzer duo, so that's what I'm going to go in and do. Just go in and bronze, add a little bit of color, again, back to my skin. Okay, let's go in with our OPV Born to Shine palette. It has so many different blushes in here. You guys know I normally like mix these two colors right here. Those are like my favorites. Um, so let's just go in and just put some blush, add some, you know, some color. A new cut, a new color. Girl, I was supposed to already be done. My hair not even done, child. Yeah, I mean, I think people are just not like used to me being late. So I think it should be fine, but we'll see. Then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty powder. I don't know why I'm doing this today, but we're doing it today, okay? Um, I'm going to go in and use this powder to highlight, I mean, yeah, highlight, bake, bake under my eyes. Child, I'm losing my mind. Hold on. Now we're gonna go in and apply my lashes. Um, they're still kind of wet, so I should probably wait until they dry a little bit. Eh, fuck it, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna put them on and see what happens. When I apply my lashes, I always try to look down into a mirror because I can see better like where I need to apply them um, closer to my lash line. So I've given out that tip before. Alright y'all, so I put like some curls in my hair. I got like this little short wig on today. <laughs> Trying to grow up, you know. Um, but we're going to go ahead and blend out our under eye. Get all of that blended. It should blend effortlessly. Oh my gosh, that word. Um, because it's been baking for a while, so it should just kind of, you know, blend out because it's melted into your skin now. So you should be good there. Okay, let's move on to our lips. I'm going to be using a little bit of a dark brown pencil. This pencil is from NK. I think NK is sold in beauty supply stores. 
not Sally's um, actual beauty supply stores, you know, Jenny's and shit like that. But if you ain't got one, you ain't got one. I'm going to go in with my nude embrace. I don't know if it was recording or not. Right. I don't know if they still carry this one, y'all. Y'all see I'm down to like a little nub. Um, I don't think they still carry it anymore. All right, now I'm going to go in. I'm going to add, on, which color I want to add. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and add the Private Party by, what was it by? Crayon Case. Not sure if they still sell this either. I've had this for a while. You know what I forgot? I forgot to set my face. Child. Oh my God, Sam. I'm already running late. I think it'll be fine. Well, no, because I don't want to get makeup on nobody, so I'm going to set it. Okay, lips are done. Now let's go ahead and spray our face. Just make sure we don't get makeup on nobody today. Oh, I hate this. Oh, goodness, I hate that. And then for me to like absorb any extra oil I have going on, I always take like a little bit of my e.l.f. powder. Um, this is a finishing powder. So this is like when you are completely done with everything, right? Like we have done every single step. Makeup is applied. I love this. It just finishes everything just strong, you know? You know what this does? It like really gives the effect that you have a filter on. You know? Like it just, it mattifies and it blurs everything. Like I am, I'm so obsessed with this powder. Like even looking in the mirror, hopefully it shows up on camera. But me looking in the mirror, girl, I think I have on like a damn filter. Like my skin is blurred. Elf is really that girl. For her to be so affordable... Baby, she really comes through like no other, okay? Definitely my favorite. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. I am rushing, but I love the way that this came out. I feel like my skin is warm. The eyeshadow is amazing. And at first, I was really skeptical. I think when I first used that palette, I was like, oh, absolutely not. And I have not picked it up since. I think it's a certain way that you have to use grays um, in order to get them to come out looking amazing but this gives me like more of a smoky vibe i'm completely here for it and you know what else i absolutely love outside of my elf because y'all know my elf is my shit but this right here the juvia's place bronzer duo um i would definitely suggest you guys just try to check it out especially for brown skin women brown skin women this gives us like that bronzy look without us looking white it kind of bronzes up our skin gives us that brown uh brown look and it's just it's very good i love it okay it feels like i've been kissed by the sun i normally use my patrick star palette the one size to to do this but as you guys can see in comparison like just the undertones are a little bit different oh my gosh i don't waste it on my shirt they're just like a little bit different so this one definitely for the win i'm gonna try to go back and reuse this again and maybe get a different result i'm not really sure but as of right now that juvia is, is definitely my favorite i have to go but hopefully you guys enjoyed it you got something out of it if you did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i love you guys and i will see you guys next time